Well, thank you very much, Leader Hammond. Uh, it's uh, good to be back in Springfield. We look forward to this return to Springfield. We haven't been in session as a legislature since May. And I think the theme of the day that we're talking about is the unfinished work of the Illinois General Assembly and the prioritization that needs to take place to get our state moving forward again. So earlier this morning, we took about two hours in the House Executive Committee with the Speaker himself presenting a bill. It's a bill on a very important topic, but uh, its impact uh, in terms of the number of people in the state of Illinois is very small. That's the only action that we have seen with a legislative committee so far leading up to an important veto session. The Rules Committee has been convened one time. The one bill that has been released was the Speaker's staff unionization proposal that we talked about this morning. So we're here to remind the Democratic leaders there is a lot of work left to be done in this veto session in front of the legislature. Let's talk about invest in kids. The cliff and scholarship cliff that is being imposed upon our children throughout the state of Illinois is finally here. We have kicked the can and kicked the can, and now it is time for action for the legislature. I certainly hope to step up and save this program. We have been successful in the state of Illinois of putting more and more funding into our public education over the last several years, hundreds of millions of dollars more that uh, has been appropriated and delivered for public education. It's a really great thing. And then at the same time, we've given school choice opportunities to children who need it through a private scholarship program that now is under threat of closure by opponents and Democrats that are leading the way in the state of Illinois. We can't let that happen. It is absolutely essential that we preserve opportunities for our families in the state of Illinois. That's why we see so many people leaving the state of Illinois. They felt like their family was given no other choice, whether it's for education, whether it's for the cost of doing business, uh, whether it's a feeling that they don't count and aren't mattered and aren't valued uh, in terms of their representative democracy. So those things need to change and we're here to work on them. House Republicans stand ready to work and to make a difference. And I would be remiss if I didn't mention one important thing. Since the last time we were here in May, we've had additional convictions in federal court as part of the Mike Madigan ComEd culture of corruption that has been dominated and led by Democrats in this state for decade after decade. And yet, have we had any hearing? We have a House committee. I serve as the ranking member of the Ethics and Elections Committee. We have had no hearings, considered no activities on the topic of ethics. We've talked about elections. We're doing nothing yet again on ethics. What is it going to take for the Democratic leaders in the state of Illinois to finally understand that the culture of corruption in place in our state needs to stop. Republicans stand here ready and willing to work together to deliver changes.